um, some of the uh, subscribers in the YouTube channel ask me about the um, content of the um, Centum VP tutorial and uh, in here I want to share some of the concepts uh, what type of files the, the course will uh, provide and uh, some concept uh, in this uh, example we will show you the PI tuning and uh, also the, there are two, two options this is the offline tuning uh, this is um, 16 uh, underline 4 is uh, offline tuning and uh, 16 underline 5 is the self tuner so uh, the files related to this course are uh, listed here you will receive the project file and the simulink uh, test and also you will receive three um, encrypted uh, videos that uh, will play with your credential so uh, you have access you can play all of them and uh, find out how the program is developed and how the um, uh, concept is uh, designed and uh, implemented so now let us return to the uh, sketching boards there are three ways to tune a PID control in any given um, control system the first uh, method is to do that by try and error so you have some default values that are uh, embedded in the parameters in the PID parameters in the control system and you just keep them as change them as slightly and they are working uh, somehow uh, acceptable the next method is using the offline tools if you need more uh, information you can use some offline tools offline tools I will introduce uh, one of these offline tools here the offline tools will give you the estimated process model uh, this model can be first order or second order second order second order uh, some process uh, such as temperature uh, they, are, they have uh, mm, long time constant and uh, there is a possibility of uh, being uh, mm, uh, second, order, second order process mode. so uh, first we calculate the estimate the process model this next will be uh, optimize optimize PID, PI, and PID. We have two types of parameters. The PI and PID can be uh, conservative and aggressive. So they can be conservative and aggressive. So you find the values. You can apply the values in the in your control system. You can do all the documentation for each loop, and uh, it's a happy ending. But there is also a possibility of uh, um, perform an offline t offline test, offline simulation. Uh, in the package that uh, I in, uh, introduced today, there is a possibility of offline simulation when the process model is estimated and parameters are calculated. You can do the offline simulation with this tool. So let us uh, move to the um, introduction of the product. This product is the Android uh, application. Uh, it's developed by our team. You can find this application in the in Google Play. Uh, the name is No PID tune, Tuner, and uh, there's a you can a sample regarding to the 
uh, PID is, um, simulation here. Uh, many manufacturers, PID for many manuf manufacturers are uh, supported by tools. Uh, you can uh, see that we support Siemens, Allen Bradley, uh, Yukugawa, and PID for GE, and uh, the other Delta V as the Odysseus, many other PLCs and many other uh, uh, platforms. So. Uh, it's a great tool. You, you need to provide uh, some uh, test points in your process. And all of these calculations are done uh, automatically in, the, in your application. So this is the actual view of the, uh, the video you, you have access and also the file. Uh, this is the um, third order server order and this is a program that uh, uh, create a third order uh, Laplace transfer to um, simulate a complex uh, temperature loop and this is the actual function test uh, in order to find the um, uh, the Laplace transfer to the, the model estimation is uh, done by uh, this uh, in process ex excitation and uh, reaction, process reaction. So, uh, we developed a simple program in Stanton VP as uh, you can s you just saw that this program will manage everything, will start the process from the steady state and uh, excite the process with the uh, some values and control valve and PID in uh, this point uh, the PID in uh, this point is uh, PID in this point is manual in here is a steady state PID in here is in manual and automatically by the Sybil program we put, uh, we put the PID in auto mode here. So we uh, find the reaction curve uh, based on the um, actual process model. We gather all the data needed and feed all those data to the uh, offline tuner. And offline tuner will provide us with the estimated model. Let us go to the... So this is some entering some values and uh, this is the process model second order uh, process model and optimize PI and PI parameters you can see that we have aggressive parameters and uh, we have conservative parameters here and uh, So the parameters are PI and PI parameters are calculated in this point. This is the end, end of the video number one. In video number two, we want to compare if uh, this is the actual um, process model, actual model. We want to see that if the actual model is uh, Is estimated cor correctly so this is the actual model and this is the estimated model estimated model by uh, uh, offline tuner so um, we uh, will uh, do the um, model verification in the second video second video is the model verification and you have access to the uh, simulating file and you can see that based on the uh, function test, uh, we have a very slight error here, very slight error here, and uh, the error is acceptable, and we accept the par uh, uh, optimized uh, PI and PID parameters, 
and uh, in the last video the final video uh, the function test is is done let me open the uh, the final video here and the final video apply the parameters and perform the function test so that's all for now and this is the video related to PID offline tuning if you are interested in uh, our Centum VP uh, course uh, simply uh, first uh, subscribe to our channel here and visit our website you can find a link in the description uh, area and uh, if you need more help please contact us we'll, we will provide more information as we need thank you for watching